Hey yo, let go. Who's got it better than us? Huh. Red and gold blood flowing through my whole body. I remember when my team was a mystery. But look at us now, we making history. I'm a beast on the field like Justin Smith. Your quarterback ain't safe round on the Smith. It's SF, the city of the go get us hard hit a Frisco Niner. Pat Willis, hard hit a Frisco Niner. The ball Bowman got the best coverage in the lead to Sean Ghost in. Yeah, we five time tents. Special team killer, call me Larry Grant. Hey, I'm go party, ready go party. From the 2012 NFL draft, so I thought I'd get up on YouTube and share my thoughts on who I think we should take in the 2012 NFL draft. So let's get into it. With my first overall pick, I have us taking tight end Kobe Fleener from Stanford. Okay, Kobe Fleener stands at six foot six, 245 pounds. Um, he would be a great pick for us at number 30. Um, he knows Jim Harbaugh's offense. He's a Jim Harbaugh guy. Um, Jim Harbaugh is known for using multiple tight ends. He would add the extra dimension to our offense. Um, he'll be a great red zone target. Um, he has experience of playing wide receiver so we can split him out wide and use him as a receiver. Um, you know, Pitt Delaney in as a tight end. So yeah, it's just multiple packages we can use with this guy. So yeah, that's who I have us taking in the first round. Another target we could also look at is wide receiver Stephen Hill from Georgia Tech. Okay, now on to our second round pick. I have us taking offensive guard Kevin Zaitler from Wisconsin. Okay, Kevin Zaitler stands at six foot four, three hundred and fourteen pounds. Um, I see us taking him in the second round because he really wasn't able to address the right guard situation in free agency. So hence, the reason why we're taking him in the second round, I see him solidifying the right side of our offensive line. Um, last year we had Shiloh Rochelle starting and we struggled early on in the season. Um, and Anthony Davis also struggled because Shiloh was in the lineup. But when Adam Snyder came in, Anthony Davis played a lot better so yeah, other targets we could target in this um, round, the second round, we could target Tremaine Johnson, quarterback out of Montana. So on to the third round. Third round, I have us taking defensive end Jared Craig from Nebraska. Okay, defensive end Jared Craig stands at six foot four, two hundred seventy-five to two hundred seventy-eight pounds. Um, what can I say about the guy that hasn't already been said? Um, this guy's a beast. He's a high motor guy, relentless pass rusher. Um, his game reminds me of our current defensive end, Justin Smith, aka Cowboy. Um, this would be the perfect spot for us to pick him. I have him sliding a little bit um, earlier. A lot of people had him going into the second round, because, but because of the injuries he had this past season, He's kind of slipping to the third round, which would be a huge steal for us. Um, he would come into a great situation in San Francisco, or he would have the chance to learn behind a savvy veteran in Justin Smith. So yeah, other targets we could target in this round could be uh, a safety. We could get Markel Martin, safety out of Oklahoma State, ball hawk. So yeah, next round, fourth round, I have us taking our future starting running back and Robert Turbin. Okay, Robert Turbin, um, running back out of Utah State, stands at five foot ten, two hundred and sixteen to two hundred and twenty-two pounds. 
The guy's a beast. He's an animal. Um, the guys have huge biceps. Um, they call him the Hulk in college. He looks at the dish out punishment rather than the take it. Um, he's a great receiver out of the backfield. He can bounce it outside as well as gun it out in between the tackles. Um, he does have a little bit of a injury history, but I think that's all behind him. Coming to San Francisco, I think he could be our eventual replacement for Frank Gore. I know some of you may think that Kendall Hunter can be an every down back, but I have yet to see that. So yeah, he is our guy in the fourth round. Going into the fifth round, I have us taking our eventual um, replacement at center for Jonathan Goodwin. I see us taking the center out of Michigan, David Moak. Okay, center out of Michigan, David Moak. Stands at six foot one, two hundred and ninety-eight pounds. He's a Remington Award winner. Um, by some people, he's rated the number two center in this year's draft. Um, my last three picks in this draft are pretty much going to be to add depth to the team. Um, I see him sitting behind Jonathan Goodwin for a year or two until Jonathan Goodwin either leaves via free agency or retires. Um, so yeah. Another um, pick we could target in this round, we could target a nose taco. We could target Akeem Hicks, nose taco out of Canada. So as for the fifth round, that's who I see as taking David Moak. Going into the sixth round, I see us adding more depth at the outside linebacker position and taking outside linebacker from Pittsburgh, Brandon Lindsay. Okay, Brandon Lindsay, outside linebacker out of Pittsburgh, stands at six foot two, two hundred and fifty-four pounds. Like I said earlier in the video, this pick would only be to have depth at the outside linebacker position. Um, some of the knocks on Lindsay is he has a finesse game about him. Um, sometimes against the run, he gets knocked out of the play. So those are things that he's going to have to work on. Um, some other players that we could target in the sixth round, um, we could go with special teams. We brought back Ted Ginn on a one-year deal, but he probably won't be back next offseason. So I see us, if we don't get Brandon Lindsay, we could target a wide receiver out of Florida International by the name of T.Y. Hilton. Some scouts compare him to a poor man to Shane Jackson. He has blazing speed, and he's a special teams ace, and he was also Florida International's number one receiving threat. But going into the last round of the draft, we pick up another player for death at the free safety position. It's a player out of Kentucky by the name of Winston Guy Jr. Free safety, Winston Guy Jr. Signs at 6'1", 218 pounds. Like I said before, this pick is only for death behind free safety. Um, to back up Sean Goldstein or Dante Whitner. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my mock draft. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Um, subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Twitter at MrPTown49. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is your boy MrPTown49 from P-Town, always to the Bay, 49 feet for all day. And peace. I'm out.